Hey what's up everybody this is Dom and today we are doing a RAM upgrade on this 2012 27 inch iMac. Now you have the ability to install up to 32 gigabytes of RAM in the new iMacs and that's what we are going to do today. Now what you want to do here first though before we get into anything you want to make sure that you unplug the iMac that is very important make sure it's powered down and unplugged. So we're going to go ahead and unplug this right here. And once you have this unplugged, we are ready to jump into this process. So let's go ahead and reposition this. And then we're going to get a close up on this little area right here. That's where the whole process goes down. So let's go ahead and reposition the camera. All right, so here we are on the back side of the iMac and you see there's this little button right here above the power port teeny little button and you're going to want to press that in to eject the uh, trap door that's located right above that and we're using a little plastic tool here just use whatever you can but once you press that this door will pop open and that's where you're going to be able to add the new RAM. So we're going to be installing 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance. This is a great RAM kit. I highly recommend it. I use it in all of my Macs. And I'll be sure to drop a link down below in the description in case you want to go check this out. But this is the same RAM that will work with the 2012 MacBook Pros. It'll work with the 2012 iMacs and the 2012 Mac Minis. But enough talking. Let's go ahead and get started here. So we're going to take this tool and press in this little button right here. And just hold the front side of the Mac right there. And then go ahead and press that button in firmly so you get it to pop open just like that. And once this is open, we can go ahead and slowly pull it off revealing all of the RAM that's inside of it currently. Now we want to take these two little prongs right here at the top and push them to the outside to pull down this little rack right here. That'll allow us to have a little more room when we're installing the RAM here. So first you want to go ahead and slowly pull out the modules that are currently in there. Just nice and easy just like that and set them somewhere safe. Same with the second one here. We're going to Pull it out nice and slow. Once we have all of the RAM out, we are ready to install the new RAM. And all you have to do is go ahead and place it back in those same slots right there that the old RAM was in and push it down until you hear a little click. Next, we're going to continue on by putting in the next RAM module, followed by the third and fourth RAM module once we have all of those installed there. So continue putting them in those slots right there. And this is a 32 gigabyte RAM upgrade, like I said earlier. So we're just going to keep putting these in here. Now, once you have all the RAM units secured inside of the iMac, go ahead and press those levers in and push the rack back up. Then you're going to go ahead and take the cover here and slide it in up towards the top like this. And then you're going to firmly press down on it to pop it into place. Don't be afraid. It's going to take a little bit of force to push it in there. And once you're all done, you're sealed up, you're good to go, and you're ready to plug in the iMac and give it a shot. So let's go ahead and plug this back in. As you can see, we're going to take this plug, get it in there, turn the iMac around, and we will boot it up. So it may take a little longer initially to boot up the iMac than it normally did as it recognizes the new RAM. So don't be afraid uh, because of that. It's nothing bad. It's just taking its time to recognize it all. Once the iMac is booted up, we can then go ahead and check the RAM. So click on the Apple in the top left corner, and then you're going to click on About This Mac, first option there. And as you can see, we have 32 gigabytes of RAM running at 1600 megahertz and everything has been successful. That is exactly what you want to see right there. So there you have it folks. This is how you upgrade the RAM in the late 2012 iMac and I'll be sure to drop a link for this RAM kit uh, down below for you in the description. So go ahead and check that out in case you're curious. I did purchase two of these RAM kits and they were about a hundred bucks a piece but it's well worth it for their performance. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video please give me a big old thumbs up Thanks again for watching, everybody. I really appreciate the support. This is Dom, and have a great day.